the cross product. In this clip we will define our vectors A, B in R3, a new vector which is called the cross product of A and B. So the cross product will typically be only a construct in R3. Yeah, we define the cross product of A and B. Now you write to get insight in its, its definition we just spell out the vectors A and B. So A has coordinates A1, A2, A3 and B its coordinates B1, B2, B3. Well, we define it to be a new vector in R3 which we may calculate forming crosses. I will specify what I mean by that. So we form crosses in the sense that we take a multiple of A2 times B3 over here a2, A2 times B3 minus A3, B2, that's the first cross, the second cross is A3, B1 minus A1, B3, A3, B1, A1, B3, and the last one is A1, B2 minus A2, B1. So you see actually that in the first coordinate uh, A1 is not present and B1 is not present, a2 is not present, B2 is not present, etc. So we see that opposed to uh, the dot product of two vectors, the cross product is actually a vector in R3. So this is completely different. So for example, for example, we take the cross product of E1 and E2, which is the cross product of 1, 0, 0 times 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0. So we write, we repeat actually the vector, the first two coordinates of the vector, and we form crosses. So again we have a 0 times a 0 minus a 0 times 1 is 0 minus 0. 0 times 0 minus 1 times 0. And 1 times 1 equals 1 minus 0 times 0. So we end up with a vector 0, 0, 1, which is actually E3. So another example, E2, the, the cross product of E2 and E1. So this is a 0, 1, 0 times 1, 0, 0. We repeat the first two coordinates of the vector over here and form crosses. 1 times 0 minus 0 times 0. 0 times 1 minus 0 times 0. 0 times 0 minus 1 times 1 equals 0, 0 minus 1 is minus e3.